Changes in spending ripple through the economy to generate an even larger change in real GDP. This is called the multiplier effect. Multiplier equals the change in real D GDP divided by the initial change in spending. Alternatively, it can be a rearranged to be read a change in real GDP equals the initial change in spending times the multiplier. There are a few important points to remember about the multiplier. The initial change in spending is usually associated with investment because it's so volatile, but changes in consumption unrelated to income, net exports, and government purchases also are subject to the multiplier effect. The initial change refers to an upshift or a downshift in the aggregate expenditure schedule due to a change in one of its components like investment. The multiplier works in both directions, up or down. It occurs because of the interconnectedness of the economy. This figure illustrates the multiplier process with an MPC of 0.75. An initial change in investment spending of $5 billion creates an equal $5 billion of new income in round one. Households spend $3.75 billion. We know this because their marginal propensity to consume is 0.75. Thus it creates $3.75 billion of added income in round two. Of this $3.75 billion of new income, households spend $2.81 billion, and income rises by that amount in round three. Such income increments over the entire process get successively smaller, but eventually produce a total change of income and GDP of $20 billion. The multiplier, therefore, is four which is $20 billion divided by $5 billion. The significance of the multiplier is that a small change in investment plans or consumption saving plans can trigger a much larger change in the equilibrium level of GDP. The magnitude of the change in GDP is dependent on the size of the marginal propensity to consume and save. This figure illustrates the relationship between the MPC and the multiplier. The larger the MPC, the smaller the MPS, the greater the size of the multiplier. The actual multiplier in the U.S., estimated to be between 2.5 and 0, is smaller than the model in this chapter, because in the U.S. economy, there are other leakages from the spending and income cycle besides just saving. Imports and taxes reduce the flow of money back into spending on domestically produced output, reducing the multiplier effect. Also, increases in spending can drive up prices. And at higher prices, any given amount of spending will buy less real output.